One of the biggest problems that new, new investors have is keeping track of that earnest money deposit. It's a big number. It's not like a single family house and a lot of people looking to get into the multifamily business are coming from the single family side where you're able to write checks like $500 or $1,000 to hold a property. In multifamily, the earnest money deposit is considerably more substantial, typically about 1% of the purchase price. Now, if you're looking to do a $5 million property, it's $50,000 of, of money that you've got to come up with. Now, that money gets put up a few days after the purchase and sale contract is executed. Once that money is put up, it is for the first 30 days, if that's how long the inspection period is, you can get that money back for any reason. If you don't like the color of the property, you can say, I'm done taking my money off the table. After that 30th day, your money becomes conditionally hard. And what I mean by that, and I have to stress this point because I see a lot of people don't quite understand this, that if you end up getting the financing for the property during that second 30-day period, well, you satisfy that condition and you're gonna close on that property. And if you don't close on that property, you've just lost your earnest money. But if you can't get the financing for the property under the terms and conditions that you've put into the contract, then you can get your money back and walk away. Now, no matter what happens, take advantage of that first 29 day period, 30 day period when you're unconditionally, you can get your money back. After that point, you want to make sure that the deal is exactly the way you want it before you proceed further. You never want to put any conditions on your money in that deal unless you are absolutely certain that you're ready to make the, make the, uh, the deal happen. So it's kind of a learning process. If you don't feel comfortable, contact us. This is what we do with our clients all the time. As I mentioned in the ebook, I actually had one client that um, I think we went about six months where the property was under contract and we have to keep drafting amendments to, to take it out of contract, put it back in a contract, but his money never went hard. And that was his biggest concern. So we were able to negotiate it such that his money wouldn't go hard uh, while he was trying to figure out whether it was a good deal or not. Guess what? It ended up being not such a good deal. And he got all of his money back. And that's how you want to run your business. Always remain in control, and this is part of it. So don't make that mistake, and if there's anything we can do to help you out, please drop us a line. Thanks.